In this lesson we'll do an overview of how shot 2 was composited inside of After Effects. Here's the finished shot right here and I think it looks really nice. Let's go through all these uh, layers here that we have to see how this was composited. And we'll start with the live action footage. And uh, the effects for this layer were simply some levels and curves to sort of essentially darken the footage. If we turn those off can see it's uh, darker and I think the curves are more in the uh, blue channel to selectively uh, change the colors as you'll note it goes from sort of a, a more neutral yellowy color to uh, more blue which suits our um, moon environment and above that we have a paint fix let's just hit U to see where this is going on now the character the live-action character he has his own um, sort of glass or plastic um, visor and that was sort of interfering in in some search in some situations with the cg visor um, and uh, that had to be removed so that was simply removed with a paint fix and uh, filled with black to get rid of that to match the back or the shadowed uh, hood that he has on and then above that we have the glass layer um, it has an out of focus effect which is a plug-in uh, just to sort of um, take the edge off. You could easily achieve this with a fast blur, but I just like the um, the out of focus effect. And uh, this itself has a a mask, and that's sort of just cutting off the areas where this mask would uh, be behind this visor or uh, unseen. That's what that mask do is, is doing there. And this is being alpha matted to the glass mat, which uh, if you remember from the CG lessons, we had set up a a glass or sorry a matte layer for the glass and copper layers and I'm just simply set the mat and filled it there now we have the uh, the glass side shadow um, in the previous lesson we were talking about how we could uh, use facing ratios to reduce the shadow uh, on the sides where there really should be a shadow and in this case I've just um, done a comp fix and uh, just filled it with black and uh, used a mask set to subtract to um, feather a black shadow in and we have a second one there to sort of highlight the effect and above that we have the gold this is what the gold looks like here let's just go back so we can see it a bit clearer the gold looking very nice um, again we have the out of focus effect just to take the edge off of it and uh, this has another mask to remove certain unwanted parts and uh, this is being matted to the gold mat and above that we have a glove shadow if I turn this on this is to sort of uh, cast a shadow where his glove is uh, interacting with the uh, with the helmet and that mask I've actually copied from the actual glove roto layer which I had to roto to put on top and here's another glove shadow just to uh, increase the effect. And uh, down here I have a glass shadow to sort of remove the reflection where his collar would be. I have another one of those. And here we have the, uh, the face layer. This is just a live action. I've sort of masked it off um, fairly crudely, but this is just essentially his face. And that's being set to screen so that we can see his face through the... Um, through the glass layer and that allows us to see sort of half of his face half of the, the glass and as you know the screen mat is simply um, adding the two together but capping it off at a value of one if we set this to add it would probably be a little too intense now we have the hat which is um, a very important mask as you can see it's sort of adding back his collar and um, and the rest of his helmet because before the copper helmet was extending too far we've trimmed that off there and the very important glove roto layer and that sort of combines with the shadow to give a nice effect there I think that looks pretty good for a simple um, for a simple shadow now before we check the uh, color correction let's just go back to the bottom and uh, turn on the other layers we have stars as we uh, added in I think I might have just copied and pasted them from shot one that we uh, composited. And again, that's fractal noise arithmetic to clamp the values levels to uh, very much increase the brightness and an out of focus to 
give us these nice out of focus stars. Then we have the Andromeda Galaxy being set to add, and that essentially just adds a little bit of uh, variation. I think that's sort of the nebula clouds um, that's uh, giving off that effect there. It's pretty subtle, but it's helping us. And then we have uh, color correction for the stars and the um, Andromeda just to sort of crush them down a bit. And then we have a, well, it's, the layer is called Glow, and this is essentially our horizon layer. Uh, it's a pale blue solid, I believe. Um, this is being tinted currently to white and uh, being set to add to give us a subtle horizon glow. Then back to up to the very top, we have our overall glow. This here is essentially, I've set the threshold to sort of just affect the, um, the reflection of Andromeda on the copper and probably it um, affects the glass a little bit. If we turn it off, yep. Um, the reason I'm using a sapphire glow, which the plugin is, I prefer it. It gives more of a softer result than the um, than the default glow, which I prefer. And then above that, we have a general tint, and this tint is being tinted to uh, sort of pale, very pale blue. And here we have an optical flare to give us back our color and some light. And uh, this is actually being Luma inverted um, to the copper mat. This is, we've created a pre-comp here called Optical Flare Luma Mat. And this is essentially telling optical flares not to affect any areas that are currently white, which is the um, the gold or copper uh, helmet that he has. And without this mat, it sort of just blew it out a little bit too much, I thought. So that's why we have the Luma invert here. And above that, we have general color correction with the levels just to sort of give us some back some more contrast. And then we have our grain with the match grain referencing an HV40 grain card. And that's about it for this shot. I have it uh, letterboxed here. So I've cut out the, um, the NASA, uh, the backwards NASA logo. And that's all there is to it. <laughs>